Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Elder Scrolls Online. And if you watched my last video, you know today we're uh, making our journey to the Clockwork City. And I think to do that, we need to uh, take a boat from uh, Vivek City. And let's see, um, not that one. Uh, oh, there it is. Now, I've never been to Mournhold yet, so it's not, that's going to be new. I think you have to go there, and then in the city center, you talk to, um, I believe it's a, a dark elf mage. I forget his name off the top of my head, but we should find the quest there. Now, I also know, uh, <laughs> since I bought the Clockwork City, you can just go here and kind of like use a, uh, a way shrine to go there. But why would you want to skip the quest, you know? <laughs> so some, probably some interesting lore that you'll probably learn on the way about Clockwork City. Uh, the family is called the Brash Fortress, which sounds pretty cool. <laughs> so I don't want to skip content, so I'm just going to take the long way there. I, I think it'll be more fun anyway. So let's... Let's, uh... Where's this at? That's pretty close, right behind us. Oop, wrong button. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll come back to the next city another time. And you, can you take me to Mournhold? Hail. Hail? Yes. Okay. Mm. Are you the person I talked to? Oh. <laughs> I don't talk to her. She just says, sit there and say hail. I talk to the boat. There we go. <laughs> that works, I guess. Deshaun. Fertile valleys of Deshaun are home to lush fungal forests. Deep quantum mines, broad pastures, red netches, and guar gaze. Grays. <laughs> but all pales before the... Hey, hey, I was reading this. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Just leave it on for the second so I can finish reading the description. Apparently the skill books now. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Mournhold discovered. Hasn't loaded up yet. There we go. That's a pretty nice... Whoa, what, what, that's a impressive structure. Now, I remember properly from um, from uh, original Morrowind, uh, Mornhold is where Amalexia is. So I'm assuming she has the biggest house. So, But I don't think you get the quest there. I think you get the quest uh, somewhere in here. And look at like there's multiple entrances. So let's just start making our way. Let's make our way there. And this looks significantly different than the city in Mor uh, Morrowind. I don't remember it looking quite this way. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure how much changes in the next thousand years or so. <laughs> that's that's impressive. That's pretty cool. Alright, am I going in the right direction? Yes, of course. Alright, let's um, find an entrance here. And start looking for people to talk to. No one down there. An entrance over there? I don't see an entrance there. Uh, there's an entrance. Let's check out this one. Hello. City center. Alright, hopefully we'll find them quickly. Um, I think it's... I think it's a male dark elf. Hello there. Uh, hello there. I'm not, yeah, I'm not looking for you, apparently. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Oop. Never know when you need a dash. Good to keep practice. Coordinator guard, a barred door. No. No. Where where is this guy? Hello. Ooh, I see a quest marker. Maybe it's this guy. No, I don't think it's this guy. I see. I bring an urgent message from Rhea Opacarius, Chief Oracle. Yeah, not, I, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm trying to find somebody else. Oh jeez, where is this person? How, how many entrances does this place have? This might be irritating. There's lots of entrances. Let's check this one out. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I see a quest marker. That's good. Uh, yep. Greetings, Sarah. A moment, if you please. Uh, are you the person I talked to? Oh, oh I think it is. House, oh, my lord, Deve Fear. Would speak Deve to Fear. Once. I think it's the guy. What does Deve Fear want with me? Your aid. In exchange for a sizable stipend, Debate Fear seeks a powerful artifact and requires a companion. He insists you are the only candidate worth considering. Of course, of course. Now, he chose wisely. Tribunal Temple in Mournhold, 
Lord Fear waits for you there. Oh. Do I have a choice? I don't know why I would say that. Obviously I have a choice. Of course. But if you do not come, he will find another. And you will be left behind. Forever <laughs> saddled with a coward's regret. <laughs> Hardly a choice by my estimation. So I have a so choice, but not really. <laughs> it's good stuff. Think hard before refusing. All right, I'll consider his offer. My master waits for you in the Mournhold Tribunal Temple. A word of advice. Don't keep him waiting for long. All right, who is the... Oh, I forgot his name right. De Free. <laughs> the the Veer Free, or whatever. Fry. The most powerful mage in Tampa. Oh, really? Lord Fear has walked the roads of Nern for millennia. Oh. The deepest mysteries of the Orbis. He strides between Mundus and Oblivion with ease. Daedric princes tremble at the mere mention of his name. Wow, that's that, that's a pretty good resume there. <laughs> but the question is, this is the proper question. If he's that powerful, why does he need me? It's not my place to question his decisions. He ordered me to find you, and I obeyed. Oh. Lord Fear values diverse perspectives, but he has few mortal peers. So he often breaks bread with unusual people. Perhaps you strike him as unusual. <laughs> well, I definitely am uh, quite unusual. That's true. Goodbye. Uh, so we do have to go to the rather large house. <laughs> so I guess we get to see it anyway. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where is the large house? We figured it's right behind here. It's kind of the mountain. Might be a bit of a walk. No, no, you can't. I'm busy. Busy. Can't take side quests. <laughs> Focus. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, these are these are players. <laughs> that is like a very cool looking building. I think the Vec one's a bit too simple. I like the ornateness of uh, Avalexia's taste. Lots of uh, twisting. I wonder if you can climb up there. Excuse me, Mr. Guard. Ooh, oh, that's some cool armor. I discovered the temple. Again, apparently she and Vivek have a love of stairs. At least she has a little zigzag pattern to so actually catch your breath, though. Alright, let's check out here, see where this guy's at. Oh, there he is. Come forward. We have much to discuss. Oh, he's not that old for how old he is. He aged well. So, you've chosen to join me. Excellent. I seek a powerful Daedric artifact. It lies hidden in a distant land, a gleaming city filled with danger, curiosity, and contradiction. I see. In such a place, diverse perspective is vital. Thus, you. Get some cool armor. <laughs> uh, what exactly would I be signing up for? A voyage that only a few have ever undertaken. We will travel to Soka Seal's peculiar experiment, the Clockwork City. I have inquiries to make. You will assist me. Oh, okay. Do you know how to reach the Clockwork City? I do. The Tribunes are not so clever that they could hide such a place from me for long. The city is quite close, and also very far away. Just the first <laughs> of Sotha Seal's many paradoxes. If you choose to join me, be prepared for many more. Okay, alright. Uh, why ask me to help? You escaped the prisons of Cold Harbor. Truly, I think it would be easier to escape an iron safe at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I had help. Great so. promise. I can use a slippery warrior like you. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll work with you. Of course you will. Of course, Naturally, of course. Questions. You know, he knew I couldn't resist. Wait. Servants of the tribunal do not look kindly on blasphemous journeys. Oh. Like this one. <laughs> Meet me at the waterfall north of the city. Discuss the details there. Alrighty. If you must, but make it quick. Time is not on our side. Alrighty. Um, do we have to repair? I just check my armor and whatnot and make sure I have some provisions. Let's take a look. I have a ton of this stuff. That sh that should probably be okay. Do I have any? How's my armor looking like? I think I repaired it recently. I think we're okay on that front. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I think we're good. Oh, let me get saved some space. I'm good. We're pretty. I'm good. So let's see where we're ahead. Let's see where we head off to. 
Actually, no, let's make this quest primary. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Where am I going? Um, I'm confused. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All right, all right. So it's behind the the temple. All right, back to back on the mount. Now I remember, I remember uh, the Clockwork City being in Morrowind, I think, in the original game. I don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember like weird creatures, sort of like half robot, kind of like my mount, kinda. Obviously not as cool looking. <laughs> it's an old game. Um, but I don't remember how you got there in Morrowind. I do remember something. Uh, you have to go to Mournhold first, but I don't remember. I don't remember what the the quest was to get there. So this is gonna maybe it'll be the same way. I am replaying Morrowind as well <laughs> when I'm not playing this game, um, just for uh, just to, to play through the main storyline again. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll find out at some point. Did, did I pass it? Did I not pay attention? No, I was not paying attention. I kept talking about Morrowind. <laughs> All right, all right, come on, focus, focus. All right, now we're down here. So by the waterfall. Or how close to the waterfall are we going here? There you are. Come here behind the waterfall. Oh, I see. Hello again. My companion arrives at last. Now then. Our journey begins in this dreary little cave. Quite a surprise, yes? Believe me, it won't be the last. We can speak freely here, but do make it brief. All this natural splendor is just tedious. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned something, so who is he? The father of mysteries, the clockwork god, the tinkerer, and other such banal titles. The Sotha Seal, or Set, is a member of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He reigns over Morrowind as the god of craft and sorcery, the wisest and most reclusive of the three. Do you know him well? Ha! No one truly knows Sotha Seal. Not even his hordes of wild-eyed worshippers. I studied with him before his ascent, and even then he defied comprehension. His only true peer was Inderil Nerevar. Such a shame what happened to him. Ah, okay, all right. I remember this. This is from the main story again. Uh, Indriel Nerevar is actually the person you're supposed to reincarnate from in the original Morrowind game. Indeed. Saint Nerevar the Captain, our king and greatest champion for a time. He died, tragically, during a journey to the heart of Red Mountain. It was all very sudden. Some believe his retainer, Dagoth Ur, struck the mortal blow. Others? Others think about the tribunal. <laughs> Some believe that Sotha Seal, Vivek, and Almalexia murdered Nerevar so they could take divine power for themselves. Who's to say what really happened? In any event, Sotha Seal emerged from the mountain even more inscrutable than before. <laughs> what do you think happened? I think it's irrelevant. Oh. The silence of Sotha Seal may come from a place of grief and deep regret. It might be a side effect of his fierce obsessions, perhaps both. How he became a god is no concern of mine. I respect his knowledge, nothing more. I see you're very utilitarian. Uh, why does Sotha Seal hide the Clockwork City here? Sotha Seal hides everything. But more to your point, it's not just a city. It's an incomprehensibly powerful, world-shaping device. Oh. Can't leave that sort of thing lying about, can you? I guess not. Also, Almalexia worries about how it reflects on her divinity. That's, what do you mean by that? That's kind of weird. Um, all right, I'm Alexia? Yes, Seal's fellow tribune. A machine can be studied, and perhaps understood in time. She fears that by reducing their divinity to a machine, Sotha Seal lessens the mystique of their god. Oh, I see. To his great credit, Seal largely ignores the <laughs> That's interesting. So, the clock is actually... Not just a city, it's a machine? That's, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what that means. I see, I wish I finished um, uh, Morrowind before I got this far in ESO. 
So I probably have a better idea what the clock city is. I saw a member. Hey, uh, what do you hope to find in the clockwork city? A Daedric artifact. I take a keen interest in all such objects, but this one seems especially significant. Hmm. You see, nearly everyone who searches for it winds up dead. Oh. <laughs> I suspect that someone or something hid this artifact away in the clockwork city. But he probably should have started with that when he recruited us, didn't he? <laughs> okay. Maybe he, uh, him and his uh, immortalness here doesn't bother him. I'm not that quite immortal, so... <laughs> Are you concerned about seeking an object that got other people killed? Other people are not <laughs> there you go, see? I've not lived this long by shying away from dangerous relics. Anyway, if this artifact inspired someone to slaughter scores of mages, it's clearly something worth investigating. I see, I see. It's an interesting way of looking at it. Alright, goodbye. I guess let's um, let's go look for this place. It's like, it was underneath the city, I assume. Ooh, that's cool. That guy asked me, isn't hiding a vault within a vault just reclusive redundant? Shouldn't a single vault be enough? So this Phil's neck whirled as he shook his head ruefully. Poets. <laughs> a vault within a vault. I'm, I'm confused. I, I, I wish I played through Morrowind now. I just... I don't remember how you got there. And I'm underground. All right. That's, I'm assuming there's bad things down here, because he wanted help. Than I Follow me. Oh, he's been here before, then I guess, hasn't he? Again, information he's not sharing. Oh, I see. Dwemer, so the Dwemer ruins are actually underneath the city. Ah, cool. Interesting. She built the Mornholds actually on top of Dwemer ruins. Interesting. I didn't know that. And someone destroyed all these things. I wonder who it was. Curious. Practically no one knows this group, but this scaffolding looks new. Built by rogue ordinators, perhaps? Stay watchful. Oh, it's all new. Interesting. Where are we going, man? Yeah, it's like a, an entire Dwemer... Uh, entire? <laughs> entire Dwemer city down here. Very cool. This lift will take us to the nethermost depths of the ruin. And to our destination. Come along. Sets vault. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Uh, anything in there? Nope. <laughs> Where did we go, man? Where is he taking us? You see, just across the ravine. That's Whoa, our what is that? That looks pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> let's keep up with him. Wow, this is pretty cool looking. What, what, what are you? What is this thing? I don't know, I'm bad. Like a robot? These are all. Whoa, that one's working. These are definitely not Dwemer. Do I have the spiders and the little ball things? Spoiled food. <laughs> Were they building the scaffolding? What are you doing? They look pretty cool though. Ooh. You guys gonna hit us or anything or looks like they're just listening. What is this? The clockwork globe. What is this? Open? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? That I like. Did I shrink? I have no idea what happened. I look like I was shrinking though. What's this? Sets vault. Okay. What? This is not the brass fortress. No. 
Someone diverted our passage. Audacious, but foolhardy. When I find them, I... What's that? Back, what, was the, what is that? My power. Don't let it escape. I'm very confused. <laughs> How did that even happen? Alright, let's find this guy's power or what's going on. Defeat the fact. Oh, these guys. Okay. Let's take these guys out. At least try to. Oop. There's a spear on him. This. How many waves these guys are there? Nope. Oh, one down there. There we go. What direction are they coming from? Oh, there they are. Oh man. It's like one of each. They have like a mage kind, they have a, a warrior. Okay, that guy. Alright. Very interesting. You can tell these are definitely not Dwemer construction. These are definitely new. I've never seen something like this. I do think in the Clock of City in the original game, there were some kind of, uh, like, man, more like man, man, uh, man shaped humanoid uh, looking automatons. Automatons? <laughs> um. Alright, one last one, it looks like. They're not hard, not that hard, they're manageable. But I'm assuming if you didn't know what you're doing, you would have some trouble. Not saying I know what I'm doing. <laughs> not that hard, though, considering. That guy. He's healing me, so that's not bad. Alright. They drop. Iron Girdle. <laughs> Someone was waiting for him. Well, some sort of trap for him. And that shadow is like his power? I'm not sure what that means. I'm assuming someone's trying to siphon it. Swivel swords. Oh, wonderful. I'm in no condition to navigate this maze. Go. Find a way to deactivate these traps. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Um, okay, let's try to avoid the deadly spinny thing and who makes place like this? This is insane. Look at this. Right across. Whoa. What was that? A fire? <laughs> um, where am I going here? Let's throw first trap release switch. Oh, hi right there. Okay. Where is the second? Uh, this way? Seriously, wow. Let's go left. Avoid the sharp thing. Anything else gonna pop out at me and hit me? Not this way. Probably that way, <laughs> unfortunately. What's going on? I saw. Whoa. Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> this is a terrible place. Can you, can you go back up, please? <clears throat> I hurry up. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, man, what a nightmare. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Try to, try to avoid these. Ew. Ow. <laughs> oh, we got it. What do I do now? Ah, there he is. Killed by spinning knives is not an epitaph worthy of the big fear. <laughs> I agree. Onward. Eager to see what new wind-up absurdities await us. 
Ooh, a bookshelf. These are very odd. Tears of... I can't say that name. Are these supposed to be a uh, Dwemer? Or each like something... Something, uh, so the silk hooked up. I'm not sure. I gotta look out for those. Alright, let's keep moving here. Okay, where are we? Why is that? I reject him who doesn't belong. So men is for us to die here. Oh, man. Another one. Ah, oh, cool. Alright, cool. So, this is a trap. Oh, they, they're ready for him to come in. Uh, he must have been here before, I assume, and he must have caused trouble, which seems to be the type, right? Okay, where are we, um... Anything worth looting here? Any chests? It doesn't look like it. We got more of those things, but they're not coming at us now. We can pick a target here. I'm not sure what these mean. Patcher... Maybe the Patcher is the healer? So we should take him out first. Take that guy out. There we go. Now take this guy out next. There we go. More books. Very useful. I wish I had time to read these. <laughs> I really did. I'll find them again, though. I have more time and I'll read them on my own. Got more. You still got traps you to be careful of. Let's take this guy out. There we go. These are barrels for them, apparently. Let's keep moving, watch out for this stuff. There's a lot more than one now. To me that means archer, conduit, I'm not sure what that means, but let's take him out first. He has a staff, he could be a healer. I'm not sure what that is, but probably not good. Else we going here? So I guess you can go either way as long as we go down this direction. So, um, there we go. Any more spring up traps going on here? Take that. All right, I'm gonna try for this part now. <laughs> Jeez. Seeker. This guy out. Oh, 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 watch out. Blades, blades, blades. Let's avoid this. Oh, the blades are. No, they're not blades. They're chains with little spikes on them. <laughs> Either way, let's avoid them. They're almost there. Any more crazy traps? Jump over that. Rather loot, okay. Worshipping the illogical, what's that? Interesting. I, I, man, I gotta read these on my own. <laughs> let's keep moving here. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, here's a shadow. Alright, let's take him out. So they somehow separated his power from him. Ooh, got out for the orbs. No, 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 no. Whoa, what happened? Oh, all these extras. How'd they come here? Avoid the red circles of death. Heal. There we go. Nope. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh man. Ok, 
Come on, get him, get him. Oh, watch out. More circles of death. Oh, get out of those circles. Get, get out of here. Ah, we got him. <laughs> I see why they wanted his power off him. Th that was impressive. <laughs> Did I drop anything good? Cough cold, of course. Wow. Okay, keep moving. <laughs> keep moving, guys. Oh, man. Clock City, also known as Sothasil, after its creator, is said to be great an intricate mechanism that duplicates the mythic structures of Nern. In a meta in metallic miniature, only set himself no true purpose. So he did get shrunk. The, the Clockwork City is like this a tiny. Wow, I see. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the Clockwork City actually is. Man, so that is the top of the Clockwork City. And we actually shrunk to get in here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty impressive. But I think I'll end the video here, guys. <laughs> uh, next video, we'll uh, head to the Brass Fortress and figure out what's going on. Uh, but until then, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And uh, travel safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.